Hello, here's a tutorial for uh, the pretenders back on the chain gang. Got an email asking for a tutorial for this one. I, to be honest, I'd actually forgotten I'd even covered it. Um, but uh, anyway, it, it is a nice one to play, so I thought I'll show you how to play this one. I might have to go through it fairly quickly because there's a fair few parts that we need to know. Um, now, Chrissy Hine, I've seen her playing this acoustically um, live on the YouTube clip sort of thing, and she uses a lot of open chords. Which probably sound, which do sound really nice when you're playing it with a band. Um, when you're playing it solo, maybe not so much. I don't know. This is the way I play it. So let me just show you that. Okay. Now the intro does use these nice open chords. Okay. So this up here, it's basically it's basically a D chord, but up here on the um, uh, tenth and eleventh fret. So on the tenth fret on the second string. And the eleventh fret and the third string. So you're gonna strum from the fourth or the fifth string down. Right? And that formation is gonna slide now down to the fifth and sixth frets. Right? And then E minor seven. And you do that twice. time to tell you strumming patterns and so forth you just have to listen okay so you do that twice now we come into the um, main sort of chords for the verse which is D A sus4 E minor 7 and G all right so for all of those chords your ring finger can stay stuck on the second string there on the third fret so that's the part, you know, where it's um, doo -doo 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 -doo. D, A sus4, E minor 7, G. Keep it up. Down the picture of you. What high jumped my world that night. Come back for a there before the D. If you're lazy you can just do the A sus4 and come back for the D. So that's the only little variation. So just at the end of each line, after the G, a quick A before the D again. To a place in the past we've been cast out of. Whoops, sorry. To a place in the past we've been cast out of. Um, sounds absolutely nothing like Chrissy Hind, I know. So E minor to A now. E minor. Back on the train, yeah. E minor. A. Oh, e minor A. Back on the train and to D. Now what I like to do at that part though is rather than go to E minor to A, which is the easy way, you can go E minor to A7. And you can get this little run happening in there, you can get, you can get this bit. Okay, it's nice if you can throw that part in there. So on the E minor, if you want to do that, use your pinky. On the third fret of the first string, you're basically going to run from the third. Three, three, two, open, while you're on your E minor. Then A7, A7 sus. So you're going to be coming down the second string now from the third, second, open, second. So, so A7 sus, A7, open second string, back to the A7. So I'm upstroking on those. first one. Okay, so we won't go through verse 2. When you come out of verse 2 though, um, you come back to the same as your da -da 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 -da. and you're going to be coming close now into that little minor um, part, the third verse where you've got minor chords. To come into that though, you can do that little D. 
downstrokes on the various D chords. So you can come back up now to the, you don't have to do this because these are it's pretty quick transitions, but up on the 10th fret, bar across the top two strings, and on the 11th fret on the third string. For that D. Now for this D, which is uh, first finger on the, fir on the fifth string, the first finger on the fifth fret, first string, and then the second and third strings on the seventh fret. And your ordinary D. D minor. Right, so one downstroke, one downstroke, one downstroke. How is it now for this verse you're going from D minor to A sevens, pretty much the whole way through the verse. How is it be? Force us to live like we do. Bring me to my knees. See what they've done to you. There is that little bit when you're in your D minor. Just release the first string of the D minor and punt and come back on again. And come back to your A7 now, but keep your first finger on the first string and then release it. So. Again, another optional. Um, little thing you can do but it does sound nice. But I'll die as I stand here today. And you just keep going from D minor to A7 till the end of the verse. Making us now we have a key change. Unfortunately it's up to um, E which means we then have a B. So verse 3, you're basically just going from B to B to A, back to B. Found a picture of you. Those were the happiest days of my life. And this is where the um, open chord perhaps might be easier. Instead of playing the B, if you hate playing bar chord Bs, you could play the, the open B. So. Found a picture of you. Keeping your E shape, just sliding it up to the eighth fret, and down to the sixth fret for the A, back up to the eighth fret for the B. Again, that's just an option. You could just play your your open B power chord as well um, on, on the fifth string, second fret, and on the third and fourth strings, fourth fret, which just leaves those top two strings open. Of you. So there you go, three or four different options on how you can play this verse. So I suggest play it the way you like it, or the way um, it's easiest for you. But basically it's just going between E to B and back to E. definitely sound better at the outro there. Okay, I raced through the end of that. Um, I'm just conscious that this video is going on for a long time. So um, there you go. I gave you a thousand and one different ways of playing that song. <laughs> so play the, play it the way you like it. All right. So anyway, as usual, that's enough to put together the song. Um, and that'll do. Bye.